Hey, it's Brad here, and we are gonna take a look at this little baby but sturdy light sand here. All right, so we've got this guy. This is only a couple of feet high. Um, you can put this down. That, that was not air cushioned or spring cushioned or anything. You can also, if you wanna put a light or something on the floor, then this guy just comes right out. So on one end, you have this, uh, that, yeah, that's a 3816 and um, the normal light stand spigot. Um, and then on the other end of the bar, across here, you have the extension tube. And then you have a pin um, which has a quarter 20 and 3816. Uh, there's a protective cap on there now. And you can put it sideways or straight up and down. All right, so pretty simple. And this, I don't think this is as big as some of the, like some of the spigot stands like for a C stand. Um, but you probably don't want to put a normal height C stand on here because if you see, you've got these legs, they're not very big, okay? I've got, I've got small hands and you know, it's going across there like that. That's, you could uh, read the folded height I think it's like eight inches of that um, so not very big um, this these wheels these casters are only about an inch um, but they still roll around pretty well they seem pretty sturdy they're not super loud um, so you might be wondering at this point uh, why the heck would you want this well this allows you to put a light directly behind a model um, without the legs sticking out all that much. So hopefully they cover it up and you won't have to edit them out in post um, so that you can have a light either shining onto the model um, to give an ethereal look um, or just for your normal hair light if you don't want it to be too powerful. Uh, or you can shine it back against your backdrop to light your backdrop directly if you want to have you know more control over where that is, not have it come in from the side, have a more even look. So, I mean, this gives you that option. Um, you could also conceivably use this for some kind of tabletop stuff, but it's not really designed for that. This is pretty heavy duty. Um, I'll show you how this works. So let's see if I can set up the camera and hold this up so you can see it. It's not super light. Um, okay, so this, is something that you just you pull this spring loaded thing out and it'll push back in so that when you put it up it clicks into place so pretty simple mechanism there with that bar that goes through there sorry i hadn't secured my pin on the top um so when you fold all three of those up then it's fairly compact except that the wheels will stick out now you could take the wheels off right but it actually the screws like go the whole way, like they're, they're long screws and you've got to screw and screw and screw and screw and screw. So that takes a while. So I would not recommend that. That is not something that I plan to do. Okay, so I think that is about it. Hopefully I answered whatever questions you have. There we go. And you know how to use this guy now and you're not gonna put anything too heavy or, or well not actually you can put things that are really heavy on this but not way far out to the side or really tall okay so i like it um they they didn't make it super easy to transport because of the wheels coming on and off and there's there's no bag that comes with it um but it's pretty small anyway and does a job of holding something that's small um something that's heavy down low all right hope it helped